Okay, let's talk Ryobi. The robot vacuum cleaner. I got this several years ago as a Christmas present. You can see it's getting under the kitchen table right now. It works by uh, rotating through several different patterns. It's not really a memory system. I guess some of the more uh, expensive uh, Ryobis actually do memory or work with sensors or all that kind of stuff. This one just bounces around in particular patterns. The good news is the patterns are well uh, thought out enough that they actually do cover the whole floor plan. It stops at stairs. It can tell when it's on stairs so it won't roll down them. Uh, I find that the suction on the Ryobi is actually very good. It pulls up most debris off the floor. It covers the whole floor plan. I find though that the battery tends to lack sometimes. The battery only lasts about an hour, uh, maybe two hours if you have a new one, which is fine. Just leave it in any like uh, 500 square foot area and let it just start vacuuming. And it should pick up just about everything. I noticed that the amount of debris that it picks up is pretty much equivalent to my cyclone vacuum. It's picked up dog hair out of the carpet. It's uh, picked up gravel wood chips from the backyard. So I'll tend to charge it and then I'll uh, once a day let it loose on a level of the house. This thing is great for getting underneath beds. You know, it's kind of hard to get under there even with hose attachments but let it loose in your bedroom for a while and it will do everything it needs to do under there. Let me show you under our bed real quick. We have a full-size king. And mm, it's kind of hard to get the light right in here. But it's really hard to get under there. But Ryobi just slides right under there, picks up any dust bunnies, any dog hair. Does a great job. Sometimes it gets caught on slightly high surfaces, such as I have this kitchen rug right here that it can get caught up on. But it does tend to work its way through. It'll uh, jerk back and forth. It'll do what it needs to do to get out of tough spots. And it will raise an alarm if it's just decided it's permanently stuck. That red light means the battery's just about dead. Green means fully charged. Yellow means it's cleaning. All right, so let's talk, look how to get into this thing. Press the button right here, pulls out. That's all the debris it got out of my carpet today. Very simple. Let's empty it. And then there's a filter that you pull out. kind of tap it clean. There are replacement filters you can buy. I've actually washed this with water and it's dried out just fine. A few of my parts need to get replaced soon. I think the battery, since it only lasts an hour, is getting a little low. There are uh, options on Amazon.com. There's the battery on the underneath stuff, the agitator. This item comes, uh, this little agitator here also comes online. I would definitely recommend buying the Ryobi if uh, you don't have much time for anything else. I think it does a great job and it works. However, break out your regular vacuum cleaner for 
your individual stairs. Thank you.